Good morning, people! I'm in a very good mood. My body is in great condition. I am barely in any pain. You know what that means? I'm already out of breath. I did nothing. You've already seen it in the title and the thumbnail. We are redoing my bookshelves. I am already regretting this. I have no idea how long this is gonna last, but we're gonna do it. Also, my style, like, I think 2014 called and was like, we want our tank top back. This is the outfit of the day. Cardigan, which is way too warm. Leggings, ostrich socks, best thing in the world. Here is an eclipse because I can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to the plan for the bookshelves, all right? This bookshelf is the bigger one. This is where all my red books are gonna go. And then over there, this one, it's gonna be the TBR shelf. I'm hoping that this motivates me to actually read the last books in series that I still have to read. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I am, I am here for it. So, I think it is time for us to immediately jump into this. If I hate it, you're gonna find out because there will be a new video very soon where I change it again. I am now realizing this is not a good idea. I, it's a terrible idea actually, I hate it. I think our best bet is to just grab the books from the shelves put them on the floor for now, because I also need to wipe down all the shelves. At the same time, I have too many books to do it all in one go. Let's empty the shelf. entire romance shelf or like non-fantasy shelf I think, that, I think that's the best way to say it so I don't think I have enough space on my floor to clean out the entire fantasy shelf so what I'm gonna be doing instead is just taking out the books from here that I haven't read yet now there's gonna be a lot okay there's gonna be a lot I'm gonna put them on the floor we have to be strategic here like I don't want to overwhelm myself with the mess that is my floor I'm already overwhelmed because turns out that shelf held a lot more romance books than I thought look at my floor it's full I am really glad that the pile of unread books is significantly smaller than the pile of red books what so what we're gonna do is go to that shelf grabby grab all the unread books and put them on the floor and then we're we're gonna fill the other one. Let's go. One question, why does this look like I haven't read any books? These are all the fantasy books that I've read. Technically, there's more because there's some on the top, but from the top, there's also some books I haven't read yet. Okay, we're not, we're not talking about them. I might actually have to start putting books on the other side from the top. However, I'm done now. I have made a pile that is my TBR and it is scary. Let me show you. Like as if this isn't the scariest thing you've ever seen. This is my TBR. Let's get these books on that shelf. Because let's be honest, it's kind of empty. It's looking kind of empty. It's looking kind of scarce. Hear me out on this. I want to do something crazy with this shelf. I've just, I've been thinking, okay? I could do a lot of things on this shelf. I could do the same thing I did before with the genres. However, I don't see myself doing that specifically because I'm gonna read the books that are on this like all the time and they're not gonna go back on so I don't want the shelves to look emptier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go by author name. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to go all books by author or if I'm going to separate them in fantasy and not fantasy and then go by author. However, I think I'm feeling like generally go by author. It should be manageable. All I need to do is know my ABC. By the way, by the way, can you guess what kind of music I'm listening to? I don't think you can. <laughs> anyway, let's go. But B? What's going on with B? Why is there so much B? done with all the fantasy books. This is the fantasy TBR, if you will. It's actually like sorting them by author is kind of going well. Now the romance books are significantly less. I am... Um, what's going on with B? Is B on steroids? What's happening? I was expecting A to be a lot. I was not expecting B to be a lot. M I was expecting a lot. Obviously it's a common letter. S and R I was expecting a lot. But... Sorry, B? B? Um, yeah, so what I'm guessing is I'm gonna have to move this all down because there's nothing in the bottom ones. I have one person that starts with a U, one that starts with a V, three with O. All right, we're, we're doing fine, we're doing all right. This is the N pile and the rest is M on that shelf. It's a lot, okay, but I'm gonna now put the romance books in and then we're gonna go through each shelf and just like see what's going on. Also, if you want me to make another video on my TBR and show you every single book on there, we can do that because now it's all here. This is how I'm gonna leave it. No, this is not how I'm gonna leave it. My biggest question is, is it a better idea to, I think, the only reason why I'm not making this pretty right now is because I want to see if all of my red books can fit over on that shelf. Because, like, if they do, that would be amazing. I doubt it, though. I highly doubt it. Both these shelves don't look good at this moment, so at least they have that in common, right? I've been staring at this shelf for a good minute, and I've decided what I want to do. So, the plan is fantasy, fantasy, romance. So we're going to try and put all the romance books on that first shelf. Don't know how that's gonna go, if I'm being honest. I just, I don't know. It could go great, it could go horribly wrong. I hope they fit, honestly. The thing is, would it make more sense to just like squeeze them in somewhere down in the bottom corner? Yes, probably yes. Do I have more red romance books than would fit in one of those rows? Probably also yes. Do I care? No. I'm gonna try and fit all of the books that are in on that shelf right now into the right two shelves by the window and then we're gonna try and fit the romance in there somehow. I don't know how, okay? I don't. I don't know. it did but I am now at a point where I feel comfortable enough to put all the books in here I can technically you can't see that right now because the camera can only show so much the bottom two shelves here are completely empty I can clear out that shelf as well and just because I have more space on the bottom right so I can fit all of the books up down there 
But now it's time to do the romance books. All right, it's time to fit in the romance books and I'm kind of excited. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. Let's get back to doing these shelves. that I'm having right now is where do I go with the dark romance because I do have space over there on this shelf and the one below but this shelf is so empty if I don't put the dark romance here although it's not all the dark romance I have more but not enough to fill an entire shelf welcome to trial and error my nose is itchy from all the dust that I've I don't know okay anyway this is where we're starting with Z I have exactly one author with Z. Zirin J. Zhao. I don't know, okay? I took a semester of Chinese and I'm still horrible. I never finished that course because, um, mental health. This is Z, so it goes down here in that corner. I think I can be very sparse with the books because somehow all the others fit on the other shelves. So I can take my time, take a lot of creative liberties. I don't know, make it pretty. That's the goal. I'm trying to first off like space the books out in the way that I want to and then I'm gonna make it look pretty. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. You're gonna watch me do it. That's all I know. We A B C D E F G H I A Walker Walter Walker is for before Walter. This is gonna look crazy. Okay, V. Oh, I have more W. This is confusing. T. T, 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 T. Um, we have a lot of pretty books for T. This is R. I don't know what this is doing here. T H I T H O T I A B C D E F G H I. <laughs> Back here. All right, I'm happy with this. Ugh, it's heavy. Your daughter of the moon goddess. I want to space it out a little more because I feel like I have a lot of space on the shelf. Then again, looking at the B shelf, I don't think I do, actually. We have SU. SU seems like it's way at the back. S T O E. I figured out I have three of her books, by the way, that I've not read, but I have three of them. This one is extremely gorgeous. Maybe here. Maybe we do two for the S. We have Samantha Shannon. If you see me make any mistakes, please tell me. Yeah, I wanna know. S-E, this is here. How would you pronounce this name? Just as a quick PSA, because I would say Stiefvater, because it's a German name. It's a German word, it means stepdad. How do you pronounce it? Because I would say Maggie Stiefvater, but I don't think anybody else would say that except for the people that live in Germany. It's T-I. Pandora. These are the leftover S books. We're just gonna fit them here. I'm gonna say the next letter is R. Let me grab them all. Ross and Roth. Ryoden. It's going. What was this? Richie, Ryo. I'm feeling so bad. This goes here. Here. Yes. I think the last name is Jenkins, not Reed. I mean, they're both the last names, but Taylor Jenkins Reed, right? I could do R A. R O B. R E. Rutherford. Dalton, Thompson, Rutherford, and Bohr, Schrodinger, and Heisenberg, and many, many more. Can you, can you tell that I did science? That is here, way at the back. I know her. Okay, so we have the poison study and these two. These are both by Mara Rutherford. We've done it. We've done it. Also, I don't exactly know how much space to take up with these books. 
I also have no clue how I'm supposed to find a book again because I usually don't know what the author is called. I'm just realizing the flaw in that system now. Oh well, it's too late now. I've already started, I'm not stopping now. I don't have Q, so we're gonna continue with P. Poly pen per But we're gonna turn these around here because I want them here. And we're gonna just we're gonna we're gonna cheat. Go do this. Alright? Nobody saw that. I have three with O. I'm so good at this game. So I'm thinking of putting these up here. This goes here. These go here, and because this one has a sticker because it was used, I'm gonna face it out. Ta-da! M. M was one of the letters where I had a lot of books for. M A E. This. That one. Here. This is the American Royals series, which is very fun. Move L up to the top and let's move U to the top too. L is done. That was not. I need to stop doing the peace sign. It's not cool. It's just not cool anymore. This is all. All this, everything is K. So this is not K. This is R. I forgot about this. She has a double name. Okay, you can't tell me. I, I thought Romero was the first name for a second. She, yeah, her name is Gabriela Romero La Cruz. I forgot about her, alright? I'm in pain right now. So these two are gonna go here. Okay. Okay. So J is here. Next is I. That's only these two. Here we go. Which leads me to H. I might just get rid of these. Honestly, I'm never gonna rate them. They're just taking up space on my TBR. Hazelwood. X, Y, and Z. Hello. Squeeze them all together. Ta-da! Oh, I'm gonna drop a book. I'm not gonna drop a book. I dropped two books. The books are okay. Geo. So that's down here. Here, please. This was fun. It's also pretty ugly. Okay, let's do F. This is everything I have. F-O. This first, because I need to read that first. That's the order in which we read D-O. A C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R D and U. Darling is at the beginning. It's going places. I don't know what's happening. All right, I don't know what's happening. I can fit all these in here. I'm slowly but surely going crazy. You don't want to be in my brain right now. It's working on hard mode. This is the mess that is the bees. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna start B here. It's probably gonna have to move up here somewhere, but I don't know. Here. They're hiding it. You didn't see nothing. As far as I'm concerned, this is the order in which we're going. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Believe it or not, but we're done with the B's and now we're at the A's, which I'm glad to be done. Maybe here, I don't know. This way. I love that I can display the Rose and the Dagger. Moving to the top here. That we can display that one and then put these here. Now. I can go back to my original plan and make these look pretty on here because I don't want the shelf to be ugly. I think I'm done. Ta-da! We're done! I don't even know what to say anymore. This shelf took me two hours. This is it. This is she. This is her. She's a little ugly. I'm not gonna lie. She looks a little ugly. She looks a little messy. I'm not sure how long I can survive looking at this monstrosity of a shelf. However, the other one looks adorable and cute. Let me show you that one. Like, this is what she looks like. I feel like these pastels give it a little something something. I feel good about this. Before, it was very dark and gloomy and now you have these like this row of pastels here that make it pop a little more. I'm 
actually very happy that how this turned out. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Let me give you a very short tour of what's going on here. So over here we obviously have the romance. We're starting at the top, which is the shop you can see with the queer romances, random romances, my Allie Hazelwood books, of course, billionaire romances, and a little bit of sports romances, pretty romances, move this out of the way, small town romances, sports romances, and non-fiction, don't ask. At the bottom, just random romances again. Like this is where I keep all my classics. Over here, a few of the shelves have changed. This is my coffee table book. It is Botanical Curses and Poisons. It looks cute. Here we have science fiction and random fantasy. This is a dark academia and cozy fantasy shelf. I'm not happy with it. But it looks cute, so I'm just gonna say, all right. I put dark romance and my YA romances on one shelf together, and I asked you what you think of it. The majority of you said, just put Twilight in the middle, which I love. That was my favorite option of all of them. At the top here, we have dark academia, adult fantasy, Greek mythology, and Middle Eastern fantasy. And then way at the tippy top, this shelf has not really changed. It's essentially just where I have Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just added some of my retellings because I thought they were giving the similar vibes. Look at that. This is an unfortunate camera angle. Anyway, up here, Sarah J Mass shelf. Up there, fairies and ocean. I mix the two shelves together because half of it is on the other shelf. And then this is my thriller crime shelf. And then under that is my Victoria Aveyard shelf and my witchy shelf. That's this one. Below that are two more shelves, but we're not going to talk about them because they're just the leftovers because you can't see them behind the chair. So yeah, that's it. I did it. I like this one. I'm not so sure about the other one. Again, I might change it, but for now, we're leaving it like this. All right, we're leaving it. I'm fine with it. I actually feel kind of good just walking to that shelf and being like, what am I going to read? So that's a fun twist. I feel like I did very good this time, okay? I feel like I did a very immensely good job at being super, super speedy. Anyway, I'm done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had an awesome day, and I will see you for the next video that I make. Goodbye, everybody. Spoilers ahead. I did change it. I'm gonna show you the video tomorrow. It's gonna be out tomorrow, I promise. I'm gonna show you, because I changed a lot. Everything, essentially. <laughs>